Ah, uh, I promised myself I wouldn't do this. It's only one or two days before the freaking end of the Marvel, but I'm rolling it. Why? Well, I guess mostly it's to keep my MVP silver tier so I can have that 30 auction house slots. And to keep the current tier, I need to spend 99k NX. Honestly, money would be better spent if I just put it on B-Pot cubes to actually do my B-Pots, but... Whatever, gambling is in the nature of this game, right? So, Marvel it is. Alright, let's get started. Let's go for 11 spins. Most likely just gonna use up the 100k spins. Two packs. Alright, here we go. First one. Red cube. Gotcha tickets. Shitty potential scroll. Surprise box, can use that later probably. Hopefully I get something good from that. Oh, a sweet water gun. And a short teleport box. Oh, a transparent hat. Alright, the transparent hat might actually be good for a next story down the line. But nothing too nice right now. Yes, some other crappy items. Red cubes. Oh, no use for those. All right, and more red cubes. Okay. Bot, please. Nope. Gotcha tickets again. Oh, I got a lot of gotcha tickets. Uh, no bumei. Uh, that was good back in the day. I'd be so happy to get that back in the day. It would just be so good. No one day hyper tall. Why is there a one day hyper tall pro rock? Why does that even exist? Oh, surprise box. All right, that's eleven spins. Oh, that's fast. All right, let's get another eleven. It's probably the last eleven. Hopefully, I get a something decent, like a batter void or something. Got some tinker shoulders. Why does that still even in there? Such a random item. Oh, uh, a wolf chair. That's nice. I don't know why tyrants are in there either. Whack. Oh, epic potential scroll. A full 20 mil worth of item. Oh, there's a rock spirit chair? That exists? Uh, guess it does exist. Wonder how that looks. Mixed die coupon ticket. Uh, haven't seen this before. Outlaw next. Wow, five Reaper of Flames. Nice. Uh, nothing good. That was probably one of the worst mix up of a rotation ever. Yeah, it's trash as well. Gotcha tickets. More gotcha tickets. Is this Marvel or gotcha ticket rolls? Ooh, a single B pot cube. That'll be useful. I'll do that later. Should be good. Hopefully. Universal transparent weapon that is not tradable though. Alright, let's claim some tinker's chests and go upgrade some tinker shoulders or whatever. I don't really think they'll actually be that good. Because it requires P sock. Honestly, Tinker shoulders are not bad if they don't require P socks, but unfortunately they do. I don't know why, but they do. So let's go and upgrade it. See if I can get another black one. Maybe down the line I can sell them when they're worth more. Or maybe I can just give it to my mules. Really no use for them to be honest. Used to be a good item. I remember back in the day, Tinker Shoulders used to be so OP. Uh, nope, it didn't tear up. Let's try again. Uh, got a red one. The next one's a black one. Not bad, not bad. So here is basically a summary of, I guess, everything I got. Nothing really all that special. Just some surprise style boxes, gotcha pawn, tickets, some face coupons. The premium surprise box I think I'll open when there are something more expensive in the rotation. A freezer is completely useful for nothing. 
uh, Hypertopper Rock, Sweetwater Shooter. I don't even know why Sweetwater Shooters are even still in this thing, honestly, because Absol Labs is already bad enough, but you also have Sweetwater and, and Tyrants, and yeah, that's fun. I mean, I also got a Transparent Hat, which is pretty good, I guess, for NX Story. If I ever want to have a Transparent Hat, I can get it. And same thing with the Gachapon tickets, I think I'll just probably use them down the line when I actually see something good in rotation. And yeah, I'll just wait until then. I claim some of the Absol Labs and everything already because I'm pretty much just going to be selling them uh, as soon as possible. Red Cubes I have no use for because I finished the main pot on everything on my main already, so there's no point in having Red Cubes redeemed. Maybe when the Slime Ring comes out, I'll probably use it on that. But other than that, not really much use. A bunch of Guardian Scrolls and Shield Scrolls, which I have no use for right now. I wish they gave out Return Scrolls. Did they even give out Return Scrolls in Marvel? I mean, if they did, that'd be nice, because I actually do need some Return Scrolls for my badge scrolling. Uh, also, some more other stuff. A chair. Apparently, this chair is worth a lot, which I didn't know. It's actually worth a few hundred mil, which is kind of nice. So it's not a complete terrible scam, right? And I think for the Tyrants, I'll mostly just claim them on my mules. Uh, even though I'm done Legion, I think maybe down the line when I start a new Legion character, I'll claim some Tyrants and just give it to them. So that way, because Tyrants are pretty much worthless now anyway, so there's really no point of claiming them on my main and just peace socking them or whatever to sell because it's just pointless. The P socks will be costing more than the actual tyrant itself. Drop coupons, which I get will be useful for when I train my Hayato. Uh, I am making a Hayato second third main now. Uh, we still have mixed die, so maybe that'll be useful down the line. Uh, four times, four hour, two times EXP, so this will be useful for when I train my Hayato again. Uh, some Evo attack scrolls, pretty useless honestly. But you can sell service, I guess. That's a thing. And some more other junk. And this is worth a whole 3 mil, probably. And the best thing out of this was the bonus potential cube, which I used and I got nothing good from it. So I am sad. And then also Universal Transparent Replin. I don't know why these are not tradable. These should be tradable. Come on, next on. Just let us sell this in Auction House. They're worth a lot. Actually, not a lot, but a good amount. I don't want a universal transparent weapon, just let me sell it. That's one of the annoying things about getting permanent necks in the actual Marvel. They aren't tradable at all. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and watched me suffer. Marvel is such a big gamble, so if you guys don't have money you can throw away, I personally would not recommend trying to bet on Marvel. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.